Well, hey, YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I wanted you to see my new method in action on powder coating ultra low heat method. All right, here's the PID controller. Um, it is, I'm about to pull these out. I figured I'd spare you the time, but I wanted you to see this PID controller. I'm at 244.3. The high temperature of this run went to 250 and then I turned the oven down to make sure I control it. 13 minutes, I'm pulling them out right now and I want you to see what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven off. And using this method, I do like to douse them in the water because it does seem to go ahead and separate them very nicely using this low heat method. I haven't uh, really appreciated it using the higher heat method, but with the low heat, it definitely seems to make a difference. So here's what we're at, where we're at. This is what the bullets look like. That's called BHN control right there. You see that? Got all the bullets looking kind of shiny and all that. Uh, now we're going to douse them in the water. Just like that. Using the other method, it didn't seem to uh, do much for me dousing them in the water. Um, the higher heat method. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously, you know, understand that this method that I'm using here is, uh, is not really a replacement for any other method. It's just uh, a way to retain our BHN control. Now, I've tried doing this video um, one other time, but it's really hard to control my heat. Um, and try to talk to you guys too <laughs> so I decided to do it this way so here we are let's take a look at these these bullets the objective here is to maintain our BHN. I'm not even going to take all of those out. Just going to leave those in there. So this is uh, whatever method you're using that's working for you. Um, there is no issue whatsoever there. Okay. So uh, that dud right there. A half a bullet. <laughs> So let's just uh, let's just take a look. There's the bullets right there out of the oven after going in the water. Um, so uh, so there's you know the I've heard uh, I've heard reports you know on uh, from other people already, and I was kind of I was kind of waiting to do this video because I wanted to learn more myself. Um, you know, the, uh, the video that I put out on powder coating new method news, if you haven't seen that, you'll want to see that video. I explain a little bit about what's going on and why I decided to do it this way and, and, uh, and how that came about. But, um, but ultimately, um, when it, you know, I've heard reports from other people that have already tried this method with the low heat and you know I get reports about how the bullets come out really beautiful um, that they don't that they're less likely to have a blemish on them and I tend to agree with that um, so that's that's one of that's one of the pluses for using this method so you know this is the formula that I showed you in my original video telling you about this method and it still stands so far 
um, we don't want to exceed 250 degrees and it seems to me like we need to have at least seven minutes over 240 degrees for this to take uh, just fine now I do know that all of our ovens are different and that kind of thing so um, you know there's slight adjustments that you guys are going to have to make for your oven but ultimately you know what we're trying to accomplish is where we want a higher BHN now um, I do want to say that uh, that all of these bullets that I'm that I'm coating right here are all from clip-on wheel weights all right so um, this method may not um, may not have as big of an impact you know if you're using specific alloy mixes to come up with your BHN I'm just throwing that out there um, some of this information that I'm talking about today has um, apparently been floating around you know for some time um, so so there's there's plenty of information out there on you know on some of the concerns for heating our bullets in the oven but ultimately what we're trying to accomplish is obviously you know to retain our BHN and if we're putting our bullets in the oven for um, 400 degrees for 20 minutes say what it we're in what we end up doing is tempering our bullet or annealing our bullet much in the way of how they temper steel and iron and that kind of thing to make it more flexible and softer so um, um, what I have found obviously is you know I've done you know the hammer test on on bullets that were you know way over 20 BHN and they're not brittle so there's really no need for us to anneal them um, in my opinion or to temper them or whatever you want to call it but um, one thing one other thing that I want to address is um, is you know people tend to have you know different ideas on you know why why someone would even water quench them you know after we powder coat them you know does it increase your BHN um, I haven't found that at all to be true um, in any of the testing that I've done water quenching them after we pull them out of the powder coating oven really does nothing that I have seen personally okay zero as far as any kind of control for BHN so I've not seen that now water quenching our wheel weights um, as we're casting them will certainly increase the BHN okay now for instance I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to explain you know the, you know the, one of the biggest benefits of what we're trying to accomplish here and that is this bullet as cast and water quenched from clip-on wheel weights um, comes out to 20 BHN or 21 BHN and then um, and then <clears throat> after if we powder coat it in the powder coating oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes <clears throat> what ends up happening is the BHN immediately drops to almost in half you know to like 11 BHN now that that bullet hardness will come back you know after a few days to a week or something like that you know um, that that varies obviously depending on your alloy mix but um, so what you end up having is for the most part in all of my testing what seems to be consistent is you gain um, you you're actually losing a total of one third of your BHN after powder coating at 400 degrees so my 20 BHN that drops to 11 say um, after powder coating at 400 degrees will increase after a week or so 
to around 15 or 16. So, um, but otherwise, if I use this ultra low heating method that I'm using right here, I lose absolutely nothing. Um, now, I will say that there's some other things that I've found that we can do by using this method. Um, it actually gives us a lot more control than we think. Um, for instance, um, I powder coated some bullets using the ultra low heat method and um, I, I, I powder coated them. I think the uh, high temperature got to like 260 or 261 was the high temperature and uh, so it kind of got away from me uh, the temperature of the oven did all right so what ended up happening is um, after taking them out of the oven I tested them and they were at about 17.5 BHN so so uh, what that tells me is uh, you know we can if we want something, if we're starting with 20 and we want 17, we can certainly run the temperature up another 10 degrees. I'm just kind of floating this out there. I don't want to complicate this or confuse anyone. But, um, you know, this is a subject that's going to continue for some time, I know. And, um, and there will be a lot that comes out of this, you know, from more testing that I do and from the feedback and testing that you guys do. Um, so I really don't want to complicate this any more than it is. Um, it's really not complicated. It's just a way to control our BHN when we think we want a higher BHN. Um, you know, so, you know, this, this test that I'm doing here and this video that I'm talking about, um, this whole subject, you know, really at this point just applies to my clip-on wheel weights and not so much because I don't, I haven't made a specific alloy using a mix to see, you know, what effect that will have on a specific alloy. Now you guys will obviously test that and give me feedback. Um, you can feedback on my channel, you can give me feedback you know, on my Facebook page, a lot of us talk about stuff like that and show pictures of our bullets and that kind of thing. So you're welcome, you know, to come over there and and post some things like that. Um, you know, so uh, really, you know, what it comes down to is uh, the BHN that I start with never changes. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's really it, you know. It, now there's some uh, there's some you know the the upsides is everything that I just talked about, um, and uh, and now I'll I'll show you uh, one other thing. Now you seen I just pulled these out of the oven, and uh, I'm trying to make this video short, but there's some things that you guys want to see. Now I just smashed that one, just a random bullet, and uh, it obviously passes the smash test with, you know, with no problem at all, okay? So, just so you know, that's been consistent. Um, now, um, I, have, um, I have powder coated some all the way down to 226 degrees for a high temperature using my PID controller um, you know to test the temperature um, and you know the gloss wasn't as shiny and um, and that was about the bottom line that was about as low as I could go to have a functioning coating um, and uh, you know after a smash test you know you could you could just barely see maybe some tiny flake coming off um, and that's about it and um, and and obviously you know my highest temperature was 260 which brought the BHN down slowly so we can bring it down slowly or we can leave it the same using this method um, 
So, I mean, that's, uh, you know, oh, and, um, and the other thing, uh, one of the other downsides to this process that I've seen so far is I've had someone ask me if it passes the um, solvent test where you take a solvent and a Q-tip and you wipe the bullet. All right. Well, it does not pass that test. Just throwing that out there. Now, um, you know, using a Q-tip and acetone is what I used. Um, I, I wipe one of my other bullets and I wipe one of these. The other bullets pass at 400 degrees. These bullets fail. It'll wipe the uh, coating off. So the next thing that I wanted to know is does any of my cleaners from my, uh, my gun cleaning stuff, solvents and uh, cleaners, rim oil and hoppies and that kind of thing, does that damage the surface? And it doesn't. Um, so, uh, and then the ultimate test is, as you know, the outcome. Okay, so we can talk all the big game that we want. We can say this is not good and that's not good. We can talk about how wonderful something is. But the ultimate test is put it in the gun and pull the trigger. So we know that. And, uh, and, um, I've fired about 200 of these bullets and um, and then I run a dry patch through it and it cleaned it out so there's no leading um, I was super stoked and super well, I wasn't really surprised but I was I was totally stoked you know that the that this is working so that's the ultimate test and I probably missed a whole bunch but I wanted to show you the method that I'm using here, how it works, and uh, you know, going into the water, talking about the temperature, and actually seeing the bullet come out of the oven, you know, doing a hammer test on it, and uh, ultimately, they fire with no leading. Um, that's that's what I have found so far. There's more to come. Please contribute as you always do. If you test this this out yourself just know that there's slight differences in our ovens and that kind of thing um, you have some more information you know that I'm giving you here um, please by all means you're welcome in the comments on my Facebook page you know you can show me what you've done you can tell me what's going on and uh, YouTube I'll see you in the next video